this guy might have went up there looking for the breaking ball because he certainly got a breaking ball and he didn't miss it hit it right on the screws. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Gone to lead off the inning. It's a solo homer here for Mike Zanino. His second of the game as they've pushed this lead up to nine now. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. The right Stepping in now, seven. Eric Thames. Eric Thames. Smoked on the ground up the middle. There is Escobar on the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Okay, here's okay. how the birds Tampa line Bay. up today on defense. And this team right here is known Daniel for kicking the ball around. Robert they have the lowest fielding percentage in the entire league, and it could come back to haunt them in this one. First pitch on its way. Heading out towards shallow right. Stewart is after it. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The batter, number one. Shortstop. Now with the plate, Willie, Willie Adamas. Adamas. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Fly ball out toward left center field. Mullins sprinting after it. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Rays tack on one more thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's the Rays nine and the Orioles nothing. Stepping in, Mark Morgan Trumbull, Orioles. as he'll get his first, first opportunity base. in this one. Mark. Lots of He's baseball on. left in this Rock one as ball. we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Two mid-90s fastballs, and you're down 0-2. This is where you got to take a deep breath and pop commit. You're either all in on another fastball, or you're finding a way to stay back to attack something off speed. Fam moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first down of the inning. All right, let's no take a look at the Tampa Bay Rays on hey. defense. And Man. guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Wendell backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Into the box the right now, field. D.J. Stewart. Number He's gone over his first six at-bats in the series Here's so up. far. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Mm, just reached back and threw a high fastball right by him. He didn't stand a chance. And it's fouled away. Fouled off. The next 0-2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Two out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're down nine to nothing. Welcome back. Here's Heidi Watney.
with a report as we get set for the top of the third. Heidi? Matt, Rays manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production, and he was very pleased with how little they're swinging and missing right now. They've obviously got a double-digit total in the hits column, but perhaps just as impressive is that they've not struck out a single time today. That's about as rare as it gets in today's sport. So they have a lot to feel good about right now, Matt. Leading off for the Rays. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. The fielder, Kevin Kiermaier. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. Into the bleachers and gone. Solo shot to right center. Number 74 for him on the season as they just continue to pour it on here. I guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still giving him pitches to hit. Now batting. Standing in now, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Mancini a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. Now so with one away it's time to check out the current standings Joey in the American League East Wendell. as you get a peek at where the Orioles find themselves entering play here today. So coming to the plate Joey Wendell he's one for two in this one. First offering on its way. Swing line drive that's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. Arms pumping. He's hustling for third. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. Ready for now another batting. shot now. Third Matt base. Duffy tripled home Matt. run last time Duffy. through. So we'll see what he's got in store here. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard towards center. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. I'll tell you, they're Up posting video Bay. game numbers here. I the mean, that's their 11th Tommy. run of the game, Bear. and they're showing no signs of slowing down. Just an absolute onslaught from this offense. Digging in to try it again, Tommy Pham. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, this is hit high and deep out to left. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Two runs on the board after the home run by Tommy Pham. And his power surge continues, and even 60 for him on the year as this lead got even wider. Well, you could see how pure his swing is, and that's why he's able to hit an incredible 60 home runs this season. Might as well start engraving his name on the MVP trophy because he's having a year for the ages. Witnessing history, folks. Into the box, Mike Sunino. Mike Sunino. Line drive to left. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for route number two. Well, he hit that ball pretty well, but the only problem was that he pulled off it just a bit. The location was a little on the outer half, so he would have hit it even better if he would have stayed through the middle of the field with it. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Wow, his manager must have a now lot batting. of faith in him, and I'm not hitter. sure why. He's Daniel given up five hits Robertson. in this inning alone, and it doesn't look like it's going to come to an end anytime soon. Ready for another chance. Daniel Robertson. He doubled earlier in the game one for two to this point. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
right at the third baseman and that'll end the inning. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Rays are in front, 13 to nothing. Welcome back. As the Orioles look to get the offense going here in the third, this is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. Specifically, power has been nowhere to Leading be found. Out. They well, entered the, the day with the lowest slugging percentage the and baseman. fewest home runs in the league, Ronaldo. which has led to a lot of media criticism, no, yeah. especially locally. One player told me, it's obviously I... a huge problem that we need to figure out as a group, but until we start driving the ball like we think we can, we need to find other ways to score runs and support our pitching staff. We'll see if they can show some signs of improvement as time goes on, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. This has not been a weekend to Batting remember eight. for him. He's the just catcher. been completely lost eight at the two. plate, flailing all over the place. Two, now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Now in the box, Jesus Sucre. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. In his career, Sucre hits in the 240s, so there's room for improvement in that regard. You know, Matty, I know his career batting average jumps off at the page, but this guy can help a roster in a lot of different ways. He brings value to the manager on a daily basis. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Finally, a take. <laughs> no, seriously, that's the first pitch they've taken the entire game. The 1-1 one, one home. A ball and two strikes now. Trying to strike out the side. Here it is. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Orioles. Still looking up at a 13 nothing score. Gregory Infante answers the call from the pen here in the now fourth as for they the didn't Orioles. get the outing they were hoping Number for from the starter. Gregory. Infante. Striding into the box, Willie Adamas, one for two on his line so far in the game. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit the other way. out toward right field. Stewart is over a few steps toward the line and he has it for the first out. Now batting the center fielder Kevin Kiermaier. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth and that means Kevin Kiermaier will hit next. Yeah man this guy flexed his muscles in that last at bat.